When you're on your knees at your father's funeral, at his casket, and you're saying goodbye to him, and then you have nine orgasms right there, while your whole family is standing behind you, it just makes you never want to have another mm. orgasm as long as you live. But you know what? You just keep on coming. Absolutely tragic. How, how heartbreaking is that? But it is a part of life. Eventually, you're going to be faced with a situation where you're going to have to eat shit and smile. For me, that would be today. That would be this video. You know, I've been on YouTube for a decade now, which is the gayest thing you could possibly say out loud to a group of people, which I've just done. But it is the truth. I've seen the evolution of this website from when it began to what it is now. What originally was merely a platform to post videos slowly changed over time with the content creation phrase. The idea that you could make money off of doing this, which is ridiculous, but nonetheless became something that people began to speak about. At first, it was just a few individuals. You had people like the AVGN, who became very big, went off to other websites, got a large following, and started making money doing it. And over time, eventually, others followed suit. You had them clumping together in groups, like that guy with the glasses, where they would monetize their content and brand it and try to make it uh, profitable. But it didn't really kick off until the advertisements came. Once people could start putting ads on their videos, things got fucking crazy quick. You had the introduction of the MCNs, the multi-channel networks, and that sort of was the death of what YouTube was. For me, however, it was never really about that. It was always just a hobby, putting a video up and talking about something I was interested in. There wasn't a angle on if it would be profitable to talk about it, but rather, was I interested in talking about it? And for 10 years, I held that stance. Now I'm forced to change it. Not the opinion on it. I still think monetization and Patreon and all of that is gay as fucking shit. Nonetheless, my stance has to change on it. Now I'm expecting a mountain full of shit over this, and I'm fine with that. But I'd like to go over a few bullet points first, just for those of you that might be curious about a few details. Now that you're a whore, is your content going to change? No, I'm still going to talk about the stupid shit I like to talk about and fuck with the different idiots online that I like to fuck with, and that's not going to change. Are you going to ask us to turn off that pesky ad block? No, I'm not putting ads on my videos. They're annoying. I use ad block. Ads ruin the internet. You expect me to support you? Not at all. Like I said, I think Patreon and PayPal and adverts and all that shit is gay as fuck. I don't expect you to do shit. Has this been your longest op, using YouTube for 10 years and now monetizing? Yeah, that was. this has been my grand plan, really. You know, when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Create multiple channels over the last decade, allowing them each to get up to a point where they become popular, and then closing them down, all leading to this one moment. It was a very long operation, but I think I planned it out pretty fucking well. How big of a tip or contribution do I need to give to spit in your mouth slut? It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. Are you going to start selling clocks with your face on it now? Don't be fucking ridiculous. I'm going to sell shirts and coffee mugs and hats instead. That should just about cover the major ones. If there are any hot topic questions that you have, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll try to answer as best I can. Know this going forward. I'm still going to make the videos that I've always made. I'm still going to pursue the topics that I always found to be interesting. That, uh, that has not changed. The only thing that has changed is I am now a filthy whore. It's a little... It's a little hard to deal with, but occasionally life throws a situation at you where you just have to suck it up and deal with it. And that's, uh, that is what this is. So if you're interested in financially supporting these videos going forward, I'll have a link in the description to a Patreon account, which feels fucking weird to even say, but there'll be a link to it. And uh, I'll probably throw up a PayPal, I guess, as an alternative. I don't know. I've never done this before. So I don't know what uh, people are really comfortable using, to be honest with you. So, to those of you that uh, are able to support me, thank you very much, I appreciate it. To those of you that uh, don't want to or can't, it's completely understandable and fine as well. There won't be a noticeable difference going forward. Not much is going to change, except for the fact that gym time will be a thing of the past. Because if I'm being paid to make videos, I can't really go on hiatus for four months and shitpost on Twitter. Which is sad, because I'll miss that as a fuck about hobby, but what can you do? And as always, when you're giving money to anything on the internet, Caveat emptor. Buyer beware.